So you can't do a Capo Joe Christmas without Regal products. And we have another range of Regal products here. And this time we invited Chef Simone Edwin out of Meraki Catering. There I you go. Well, yes. I got it right? It's, it's Greek, so I'll, I'll, I'll allow it. Yeah, no, yeah, no. These chefs are the fancy names. Meraki Catering. Oh. Um, Chef Simone, as I said, friend of the show for so, so many years. And she's on now to kind of create a little Christmas delight for you using the range of Regal products. Chef Simone, welcome. Hey, how are you? I am great. Good, 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 good. Um, so I'm, I'm seeing that red liquid there, and that has mm -hmm. been kind of, is that a sorrel so it liquor is. of some sort? Well, no, no alcohol. <laughs> no alcohol. But um, okay. what I do with this um, after I make, a lot of people I realize they just boil sorrel, throw with the petals. Oh, That's you it. don't throw with the petals? Nah. What no, you, the petals. The so after... So you put the sorrel together, I add sugar, right. throw in all the spices as usual. So clove, bay leaf, cinnamon, whole, whole cinnamon. Right. And I leave that just until the petals get very tender, not mushy because I still want to bite it. So you'll get that in the dessert later. But then what I do after I strain it out, this glorious liquid here is just thickened with a little bit of cornstarch. There's a viscosity to it as well. Listen, see, listen, see, look, at, look, look, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> come on, come on. Right, so I what you do with this, this it is that intense, imagine sorrel juice on, can I say the word crack? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crack on, right? <laughs> on but something. On something, <laughs> on something up there, right? But what this, this is like liquid gold for me because yeah. in pastry, bartenders, I know some bartenders I would pay probably some big money for this. Yeah. You could infuse basically anything. You could use this in cooking to glaze meats. Yeah. yeah. So a wide range of well, it's it. not just juice or no, 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 no. Okay, okay. So what we'll be doing today is we'll be taking this liquid mm -hmm. and instead of using boring old water or milk to make a, fro a frosting using the regal ice and sugar, I'll be adding this bad boy to it. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Cool. So let's get that done. All right. So I am just going to, now it's a, it's a kind of measurement, like an eye thing, based on how, what texture of uh, dressing or drizzle you're looking for. If you're looking for a thicker drizzle, obviously you would use more icing sugar, less of the liquid. But if I want a thinner mixture, I would use more liquid. More liquid. Yeah. And what are you going for here? I am going for a medium. Medium. Yeah. So, because we're going to coat it with... Another staple that is in my family, at least for Christmas time, rum cake. Yes. Can yeah. I smell that? Yes. You can. You can dip, dip your fork, taste it out. Ah, <laughs> she have a tasting spoon oh right here for you. <laughs> oh my God. There, 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 there are sights and songs of Christmas. This is one. And, Chris, and, and sorrel is, oh my God, the scents. All right, so, so you see it's just starting to come in here. Get like a nice stick, so you could if you're making cinnamon rolls, cakes, anything, cupcakes, wow. anything. So you see, and then you get that nice gorgeous color coming in there. So this is the consistency here. Wow, just like that. Just like that. All right, and then when you taste this, you could go back and forth and taste it to see just if if you have just enough sorrel or whatever consistency you're looking for. And you either add ice and sugar to thicken it, or you add more liquid if you want it really, really runny. Wow, that's really good. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm pretty good with this um, with this mixture here. I'm just going to transfer it to a python bag. sticks <laughs> nice smooth flow there i would have make a whole set of mess there if i didn't pull that in there. yeah there's an art there's an art i would have made some good mess there if i had put good. that in there all right and then i have some rum cakes here that poof i just made it yeah so this is rum cake yes yeah, so this and is a simple uh uh, sponge cake recipe that I use, right. but then what I do is that I soak it in a rum butter sauce. So I use any kind of whatever alcohol you, you prefer. I have an affinity to tambu because again of the spice that is in tambu rum, it right. works perfectly well with 
Sorry, because you have all of those spices in there. Got you. All right. So you said you, your family, you do you do rum cake. You, yeah, yeah, rum. You, do, you don't necessarily do black cake. You don't do fruit nah, cake. we yeah. So uh, family real funny. Yeah, yeah. So some people like the fruit. The fruit. Some people don't like it. Have a little divide. Everybody loves it. <laughs> so come in, come on. All right. So and uh, just do a nice little drizzle here. It starts to look festive already. You don't have to do much. So once you have regal icing, you good to go. You're good to go. Wow. And, let me just wash my hands here. Just in case people didn't know they think it's some pretty um, pink icing, just to let them know that it is sorrel, we're going to same the, the same sorrel glaze that I was telling you about that I do, I do with the petals. <laughs> Your nose is sorrel. You had a nose sorrel. So it's almost like a candied finish. It has to. Uh, some of my clients tell me like they actually buy this, and they some told me that they sit and they just literally eat this like it's red mango or something. So you could try it. You see it? It's edible. It's, it's, it's edible. I mean, if you're making a juice with it, it's it going to be poison. I never thought of eating the sorrel leaves, sorrel, sorrel petals. Yeah. And you're good to go. Okay. Yeah. That's <laughs> I never had that when I was done. Yeah, man. And they have a simple dessert. Even if you know you don't want to get your hands dirty with the you know, bacon cake and you ain't too sure about it, you buy a cake, just throw some alcohol, you have your regal ice in there, and you're done. Chef Simon, this is absolutely gorgeous. It looks so beautiful. The cake cuts like a rum cake. It looks like it's soaking in a rum. Proper. <laughs> Proper. Proper thing. Now, um, I forgot also, um, Regal also has like a nice line of nuts. And I know a lot of people like um, nuts in, 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 in their rum cakes. Mm -hmm. So, I'm and just going to. Well, and yeah. some may not. But, but, but yeah, if but you do, you know, a little toasted almonds. Mm. Find the, the flavor of almonds go really, really, really well with this flavor mm -hmm. profile here. So you could just top some and you're good to go. You're also giving us the recipe. Yes, for this, this recipe cake. is going to be online. For the rum so cake. For the rum cake. For the rum cake. I want chinks again, the proper recipe on Copper Joe. CoppertoeCaribbean.com because this rum cake I am going to try to make <laughs> for Christmas. This is so moist, Appreciate so it. delicious. As I say, it's like sponge cake on. On something. On something. <laughs> Chef Timon, thank you very much. Appreciate it, man. Mm. Guys, <laughs> Christmas is drawing near. Merry Christmas. Chef Simone have parang to go and practice. Yeah, boy. Chef Chiffon is actually a palandero. Would yeah. you believe? Uh, uh, yeah. I see Some, something not right up here, I but see it's just what it is. Chef Palandero. Thank you very much, my darling. Time, Guys, Capojo Christmas, CapojoCaribbean.com. Check us on all our socials at Capojo Caribbean. And share a cup with us here every weekend during your Christmas holidays. Mm-hmm.